Hello everyone, welcome back! I have figured out the thing, somewhat. I've like finally kind of unlocked the next level, I guess, in the Arcane Compendium, the next big group of things. It was super difficult! Like, I had to go through and build this guy, which there weren't any instructions for, by figuring out... And I had to find out about this by reading about this, by reading about Arcane Ash, by reading about, like, obtaining skill points. It was weird. Anyways, now I have the Ethereum system, which is cool. It is the Ars Magica power system. I'm worried because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to... Oh, sorry about the pop. Um, as the mob can register new Ethereum types, light, neutral, and dark structures for crafting and using them. All three types for spell crafting, components, modifiers, etc., etc. Certain machines need certain kinds. Complex machines need multiple kinds. Finally, the crystal wrench. <laughs> we are the crystal wrench. But yeah, like, I had to find this thing, and it was just weird. Desert Nova and the Seria Blossom. I'll need to find one of those. And more Ventium Dust. I need so much Ventium Dust. Direct Ethereum through your power network. And right-click on the destination. No need to click on Ethereum conduits along the way. Just click on the final block. Uh, da, 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 da. This will force a pairing. Ensures Ethereum. This means the crystal... Remembering the source block's location. Huh. Interesting. Do, 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 do. Neat. Okay, there's that. There's blocks. More blocks. Yay. Um, things like the slipstream generator, which is not marked as new, but it is. Like, this wasn't here before. Arcane Reconstructor. This is the repair thingamajig. Which is neat. Uh, an Arcane Deconstructor. Interesting. Disassemble into crafting components. Right can also disassemble spells. Interesting. That's kind of cool. And caster blocks. Ooh. Ooh, automatic spell casting. Yes. I was hoping that this was a thing. Caster is designed to replicate that ability. Caster rune. Save for one specific difference. It does not require a redstone signal to operate, and rather walks cast when walked upon. It'll cast directly on whatever triggers it. And it does things and things. Extreme essence draw internal crystals are fitted with a slot to allow a charge focus, which causes the incoming essence to be increased substantially. Mana focus can be fitted, causing the internal essence of rooting to be much more efficient. Fitted with a slot to allow charge and, and things. Okay. And uh, mana battery. Yay! Mana battery for storing mana. Um, a frame out of iron and gold, which is capable of storing massive amounts of ethereum, which is handy. Okay. And structures! Celestial prism, finally the obelisk. Oh, wait, what? Huh? <gasps> Wait, hold on. What? This is... What? But... This isn't... What? They're both called obelisks. That's... A standalone upgrade when completed will increase the output of the obelisk's burn capabilities. The pillars, oh, you can build those around the obelisk. I can't see the obelisk behind the stupid thing. Another upgrade and will further. Okay, I see. One, two, all. Zero. Okay. Huh. Okay, okay. That is... Jeez. Okay, things are getting really complex here. And then the black arm, which is the evil one. 
And then the Celestial Prism, which is the not evil one, makes light Ethereum, but it's passive. Requires nothing more than daylight to generate its power. And it takes quartz. I can do that. Okay. Runes of power begin to swirl around the crystal. Create the Celestial Prism. Perform the Ritual of Purification on an obelisk. I don't know how to do that. Upgrade by adding certain multi-block configurations around it. Wizard's Chalk Circle. And then the Pillars. Also have specific cap upgrades. Which, anywhere from Diamond, Moonstone, Glass. Okay. Moonstone caps by a significant amount. Switch the Prism to charge at night instead of during the day. Okay. Obelisk. Rituals. But what are the rituals? I don't know the rituals. And the Ethereum conduit and... Wow. Okay. I'm going to need to be making some crazy things. Bosses. Structures. Talents. Modifiers. Shapes. Blocks. Items. Mechanics. Guides. Mechanics. Guides. The Ethereum system. Are there rituals? There are no rituals. I can't... <clears throat> okay. Well, in any case, this is a thing. It burns stuff. And it makes power. Um, obelisk. Uh, it burns Vintium Dust or Liquid Ethereum. That's an issue. Uh, because I don't have a ton of that stuff. Now, the thingamajig. Essence Refiner. Arcane Ash. Califactor. This is the one. It can produce Vintium Dust as it cooks, in addition to the smelted item. Provided with light, neutral, and dark ethereum, can double ores. Always has a small chance to double food. Which means that I should be able to now use this with this and hopefully get more Vintium Dust. I don't know if it'll work, but hopefully it will. And then I can have it, like, kind of, you know, working together, maybe? I don't know. I'm going to figure this out. For now, yeah, no more Ars Magica right now. No more Ars Magica right now. Um, like, I'll use the stuff, but... I just want... To stick that... Actually, I do want to do some of this stuff on my sword, don't I? So I'm going to put that on the sword first. Um, but yeah, for now, I think that first I'm going to get more digging. With the digging and dig words. Um... Blah. My ravines. That's it. That's what I was trying to talk about. Oh, more obsidian. I'm going to have so much obsidian. You know what? I have so much obsidian stuff right now, I'm not going to plant these. I'm going to put them there. Okay. Um... Yeah, the ravine. I'm going to continue working on that and making it better. More smoke. And you'll get to see... Oh, nope, nope. You, you go in there, too. More cool things. Magic crops and... Where is it? Here it is. Okay, so that is a 72 thing. I'm just going to make blocks out of this. go, there we go, there we go, and there we go. This is now 8 attack damage. Nice. Um, and just stick the board in there. Yay. I just doubled the attack damage of that. It is like diamond sword equivalent now, which is sweet. And once I've filled up that single modifier, it'll be even better. Yeah, I, Ars Magica is a little bit more confusing than most of the other mods. To be fair, it's magic mod. It's a magic mod, and so it's kind of being magical, which, yeah, okay. I can accept that. Whoosh. Hee <laughs> hee. Slime! I just 
Got grape seeds. Yay! All the slime in the world! Of course, this is before... No, this is 1.7, so I think that slime blocks are a thing? This is the congealed slime. Which I can turn back into regular slime balls. It's a storage block. Versus the all nine, which is the... Not storage block, but actual usage block. Oh, blueberries. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go plant these. Have a little blueberry patch. Ding. Yay. Blue breeze. But yeah, it's actually been rather fun dealing with this and doing the mining out of it. I've been focusing on a single side at a time for now. But, I mean, it's just... It's... This is such a cheap spell. It's still under 20. And I now have a huge amount of... Dang it. A huge amount of uh, mana well, compared to what I used to have. Anyways. I need like a place block spell that I can use from a really far, far distance away. Dang it. And I don't even have any of the, uh, Cobblestone that I use for that. Uh, let's see. Cobblestone. Big tile. There we go. And put you there. There we go. I'll get the rest when I go down there. This is just like, basically I'm just kind of... Okay, you... Go away. And it goes away, and it's fantastic. Oh, I missed that one. Dang it. recharging mana faster than I'm using it, which is really freaking cool. Just because I really don't want that to fall down and potentially not gotten beforehand. Oh, there's my mana out. Okay. Yeah, isn't that cool? I can just be like, okay, over there, I want that to be smooth, I want that to be smooth, I want that to be... And just do it! And not have to worry about putting up scaffolding or anything like that. And it's amazing and glorious. And that's what it is. Grab you. Grab you. Aha. I grab you's hammer. And I put this up here. Which is kind of in an odd space, but oh well. Ow. And that wasn't smart. Eat some of that. Get up here. Get my things. And my stuff. And what was I? Right, I was trying to get up there. Um, hmm. I could. I think that'll work. Yeah. Yeah, 
and swim, swimmy, swim, swimmy, swimming. Single one of these, and you, and okay. Grab all y'all. And it was up there. Yes. Just get myself a whole stack of these guys. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now, since I'm probably... Oh, yeah. I, I've been kind of closing up caves and stuff that I've found with this as well. Wait, this isn't a cave. This is a ravine. Okay. Oh, whoa. Don't want to fall down there. Uh, do I want to... I do not want to do that. So I'm just going to put that there. And that will be part of the other ravine then. All right. to deal with this too eventually but for now I'm just going to keep on working on this side I think and as I, as I cast this one too I'm getting more and more earth aligned it means that it actually casts for less and less each time I also believe that I have a single level of uh, stone skin, possibly from it, or maybe heavy bones or something. Yeep. Which means that I can't fall as far, and I have to be more careful about... Oh, that was right there. I didn't realize that. Is that... Mm. I'm just going to take that ledge out. Yeah, that's going to need to come down too. Those are not natural. And so this is what I did through that whole section over there. I think it'll eventually end up with a really neat uh, open area that'll be essentially a nice blank canvas for me to start creating on. And I will be able to make... Called the mountain homes. Potentially. more mana. Let's collect these while that recharges. Yeah, I was so excited about actually finally unlocking all those new block things and the new stuff with Ars Magica that I didn't stop to think if I would actually be able to use any of it right away. I just need so much more Vintium Dust. That's the, big, that's the biggest uh, limiter for me right now. Vintium Dust or being able to figure out the ritual of purification, which I don't know if that's 
maybe it's a spell, I don't know. But something that I can do to a uh, an obelisk to make a passive generation device, which that would mean that I would be able to get Vintium Dust through the, uh, whatever, the Califactory type thing. And that would mean that I would be able to use a regular obelisk. And that would mean all sorts of other stuff. Is that, like, dense iron ore, or is that just kind of... I don't think that I have a dense ores mod that I have the dense ores mod on. Like I know that I didn't specifically download and put it in. So if I do have a dense ores mod, then it must be from something else. Doo -doo -doo -doo. A dark and deep chasm. Yay. But yeah, so that's what I've been doing. Uh, I think that that might be it for today. A little bit of a shorter episode. But I hope that you still enjoyed. Um, I'll try to muddle through the Ars Magica and explain my processes. Maybe this can be used... Maybe they can be used as uh, tutorials for people that are just getting into it. But in any case, until next time, this has been Anvil Dude. Have a good day.